Now, why do you need a hoop clamp if these things, precision hoops, are going in precision holes? It's because God, in her wisdom, that's with a capital H, made stones and tree roots and other good stuff. So when the leg goes in and hits one of those naughties, it's going to make it wider or make it narrower. So we use a hoop clean. Now the way to use this, it's adjustable here as free floating, is you walk up to your hook, plonk it down and grab. Aha! Well, now we've got it clamped at the most advantageous place right down next to the carrots. Some people say, oh you should be clamping it at ball height. Yeah, right. There's this thing about leverage. I forget how it goes. But anyway, clamp it down there. Do it while it's on the ground, makes it easy. Drop it in the hole. And sure you could get your big steel hammer and smash it into the ground. But that's not a great idea. What we do is, we get a sabo. This is an old one, All right? Getting a wee bit dinged about. Somebody's been smacking it with a steel hammer. Doesn't really hurt it because there's a hole, the steel comes all the way down to there. So they're solid, they're designed for this. The other thing that they do is, oh, no clunk, no clunk when it got to the bottom. That's because it's got a piece of heavy duty shock absorber inside. And that'll save your paint getting damaged as well. Now with your two mates, one at the left, one at the right, and remember this is team two. Team one is running ahead, one man boring the holes. Uh, team two is coming along, putting the dibber in, and then team three is setting the hoops. So we've got a bit of space here. There's almost two fingers sitting up. So on the hammer, if you stand in line with your nose in line, you can see whether it's leaning to the left or right. Aha! How far down did he go? He went down until the little corners on here are just flush with the ground. Now, if you go down further than that, tomorrow when you come to put the hoop in, it's going to go too deep and deeper and deeper. Now you can pack it with cardboard and other rubbish, but not a good idea, they're easy ways. When you take the clamp off, it's feeling that it's just, just skidding past, and that's good, because if it's really tight, it means it's hit a stone and bent in. If it's really loose, it's because it's hit a stone and gone outwards. And there's our first hoop ready to go.